So, you have a new Predator movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. Fantastic. This is gonna be much better than trying to make something original. Agreed. So in this one, we're gonna have a Predator crash onto Earth, right? Uh-oh. But the twist is that later we're gonna learn that he's actually here to help the humans. Oh, interesting. So he's not actually gonna kill any humans. Oh, no. He's gonna kill a bunch of humans. Oh, he is? Yeah, super violently, too. He's gonna do that thing where he strings one up from a tree and skins him. Oh, my God. Yeah, and he's gonna rip a guy's arm off, use that to give a thumbs up. And we're gonna say he's here to help humans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough love, I guess. So why does he want to save us? Because there are super big predators on the way and they want to take over the planet because global warming is going to kill humans and they want to move in. What? Yeah, pretty cool, right? I didn't understand what you're talking about. That doesn't make any sense. He wants to help humans because global warming and giant predators. Okay. Also, the super predators want some human DNA. Oh, they want the DNA now too? Yeah, I'm all over the place with this one. Yeah, you really are. So how does the good predator plan on helping the humans? Well, we're only going to see it in the last scene, but he brought them a suit so they can fight against the super predators. One suit to fight off a whole invasion? Yeah, it's like an Iron Man suit, but it has dreadlocks. Oh, people love Marvel. That's actually a good move for us. Oh yeah, and we're also gonna throw some Marvel-style humor into the movie. How are we gonna do that? Well, you know how sometimes a movie will have a character that's like comic relief to break the tension? Yeah. Well, in this movie, every character is gonna be comic relief. Wow, people are gonna be so relieved. Yeah, there's gonna be no tension, just relief. Amazing. So tell me about the characters. Well, the main guy is named Quinn McKenna, and he witnessed the predator land on earth. Friendly predator that kills people or super predator that kills people? Friendly predator who kills people. Gotcha. So the government puts him on a bus to a mental institution where he meets a bunch of wacky characters. Sounds wacky. But before the government caught him, he had sent some alien items home and his son starts to play with them. Oh, what's his son's deal? His son is super smart and he has autism. Oh, we have to be careful with how we portray disorders like that. It could be a sensitive subject. Well, we're gonna say that autism is like the next step in human evolution. Okay, well I guess that portraying it as a superpower is a safe way to go about it. You want to be respectful with these things, you know? We're also going to have a guy with Tourette's and we're going to make fun of his disorder the whole movie. Well, that's one of the funny disorders, so that's okay. Exactly. We're good people. We're good people. So yeah, basically we have this movie set up where a super big alien wants to rip out this kid's spine so he can use his autism to level up. Oh, oh, it's happening. What, what, what is going on? Oh, it's a good one too. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's just that when all the people who pioneered cinema roll over in their graves at the same time, it can cause some little earthquakes. Well, that's kind of neat. It is, isn't it? Wow. So what's the dynamic like between the dad and his kid? Oh, super cute. At a certain point, the kid's like, Dad, I'm sorry I didn't turn out the way you wanted. And he's like, that's okay. I didn't turn out well either. That's actually incredibly mean. Yeah, real cute. We also have the mom in the movie. Oh, what does she do? She has this badass scene where she tells the government, you messed with the wrong family. And then we never see her again. Mysterious. There's also a scientist, and her name is Casey. What's her backstory? She's a scientist. I love it. Yeah, she's also super skilled with weapons and action scenes. She does a bunch of crazy stuff. Oh, so she's not just a scientist. Well, that's all we're gonna learn about her. Fair enough. Oh, we're also gonna have some predator dogs in the movie. Wow, that sounds scary. Yeah, but one of them's gonna turn good. How does that happen? It gets shot in the head, and that makes it friendly. I'm a powerful studio executive, and I'm gonna approve that idea. Fantastic. And what happens in the third act? Oh, you're gonna like this. In the third third act, we're gonna have action. Oh yeah? Tell me more about that. There's gonna be action. There's gonna be a bunch of it. But like, what kind of stuff is gonna happen? Oh, well, I figure we could edit it together so fast that nobody's gonna have any idea what the hell's going on. Very smart. Yeah, it's just gonna be shot after shot of complete nonsense. People are gonna be like, wait, did Casey just teleport? And wait, did the main human villain just shoot himself in the head? I love it. You can't be bored if you're completely disoriented, right? That's the idea. Plus, it gives the movie rewatch value. How so? Well, if people want to try and figure out what the hell just happened, they're gonna have to rewatch watch the movie, probably at half speed. Oh, that's actually genius. Anyway, so at the end of the movie, the main dude is gonna see the Iron Man suit and be like, that's my new suit. Oh, is he in charge of something now? Unclear. And also his 10-year-old son has a job in the government now. Oh, child labor is tight. My personal driver is seven. Oh, that's illegal and dangerous for many reasons. Wow. So what do you think of the movie? Hey man, as long as we beat the opening weekend of Predators from 2010, I'm happy. You think we can do that? Oh yeah, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. There are a lot more pitch meetings on the channel that you can check out. You can also let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. And if you haven't seen it yet, we launched a new series on the channel called Theory Battles. In those videos, we go head to head with two different film theories and then you guys decide which one of the two is the most plausible. It's a whole lot of fun, definitely check it out. Also, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, maybe share it on Facebook and Twitter, MySpace, and check back soon for a new pitch. Bye bye.